The most iconic moments of Survivor 42. To celebrate how amazing the season of Survivor turned into, I collaborated with four Survivor content creators. Together, all five of us will be breaking down our most iconic moments of the season. Keep track of what moments from this video are your favorites and let me know down in the comments. Vadi was looking good and managed to avoid tribal council for the first couple of rounds of the game. They had some strong alliances forming between Mike and Jenny and Daniel and Chanel. These four looked like they would take control of their tribe and play a major role within the merge. But as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end eventually. They lost that immunity and Taku sent Chanel to Shipwell Island to go make a decision. Chanel going in was in a dominant spot within the game. She had all the information needed to make the correct decision. Daniel, her closest ally, informed her that Mike had an idol and that he couldn't vote until he activated it. She was aware that they had three votes and that High and Lydia had two votes at Tribal Council, so there was no reason to risk her vote since it could have major ramifications in the game. Omar and Chanel seemed to connect on Shipwheel Island. Omar was even open to working with her deeper into the game. She made it clear to Omar that she can't lose her vote, which made Omar believe he would be clear to risk hers. The beauty of Survivor, however, is that when we go out there and we have the same concept season in and season out, different people will make different decisions. This was the case with season 41, where we didn't see multiple players risking their vote. Season 42, however, had bigger risk takers and both of them, to the shock of the audience, risk their vote. This big gamble and bizarre gameplay by Chanel after telling Omar she couldn't risk her vote shaped the future of the Vadi tribe. The minority alliance in Hai and Lydia remained strong while the majority alliance fractured as Jenny went home. Omar learned about the move via Hai and was shocked that Chanel wouldn't give him a warning since they would only learn their fate the next time they go to vote. Vati continued to turn on each other at the merge and lost their numbers in quick succession. I believe this came down to the fact that the alliance created after this fallout was one that came together out of convenience rather than an alliance that truly wanted to work together within the game. We gotta take out Lydia. Mm -hmm. We have to convince them to split the vote. Split the vote? I think I don't have a vote. The next moment we need to talk about was the incredible episode 11 Tribal Council when Drea was voted out of the game. This was one of those moments that makes you get off your couch, jump up and down in excitement. As up until the point where Drea pulls out the advantage, the audience still had no idea if Mike was holding his hidden immunity idol. However, we are going way too fast to truly appreciate this moment. We need to take a step back a few episodes prior to Survivor 42 episode 8. Obviously, this was the moment where Drea swapped places with Marianne and sat out of a reward challenge. Long story story short, she made the correct decision as there was a beware advantage on the sit out bench. Drea would be caught red handed and eventually find the knowledge's power advantage. Oh my god. So I put my hand in and I pull out this container covered in the bread. <laughs> Fast forward to episode 11, Drea knew she was living on borrowed time and was going to be in trouble at Tribal Council. Her fatal flaw was telling Omar about her knowledge's power advantage in hopes they could work together in the future. This is not the game plan Omar had in mind as he would go directly to Mike about the plan in order to block the knowledge's power advantage. About a half an hour before Tribal, Omar made me aware that Drea had this little trinket that she's going to use against me. So Drea can steal my eye. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what she told me. But. If I don't have my idol on me, Drea can't take it. I'm giving you my idol. A lot of people are probably going to argue in the comments that this moment should be much lower on the list, but I feel it gets knocked a few points in the iconic category as it pretty much is the exact same thing we saw happen to the knowledge's power advantage during Survivor 41. The next iconic moment from Survivor 42 comes from the third tribal council of the season, arguably one of the greatest premier tribal councils of all time. And the funny thing is, this should have been a simple Lydia boot, as she was in the minority along with Hai against the other four Vati members. But once Mike lost his vote due to the Beware advantage, this made the numbers now 3 to 2. So when Chanel was sent to the summit, she knew she had to protect her vote to keep the numbers for her alliance. And, well... I'm not playing a scared game. I'm playing a game for a million dollars. I gotta make big moves to get a big reward. Realizing she messed up, Chanel tells her closest ally Daniel that she lost her vote, 
which meant it would now be a 2-2 split. The majority tried to outmaneuver Lydia and Hai by getting them to split their votes, but at Tribal, they put their two votes on Jenny, while now only Jenny and Daniel voted for Lydia. After the vote was still tied on the re-vote, Daniel immediately said he wasn't going to rocks, which is all Hai needed to take full control of the situation, as he intimidated Daniel, and in the end, Daniel had no choice but to side with Hai to send home Jenny, who Liddy did nothing wrong to be the boot here. I want to get the ball rolling by starting with the following premise. I really do not want to draw rocks. It's Omer getting absolutely blindsided and Marianne having the move of the season. Marianne pulls off a move. I mean, she was always there. She was always present in the edit, but we were waiting all season for a big move. This yeah. was the emergence of Marianne and I, we had been waiting for it to happen because like Adam said, she's always the bubbly personality, always the person that's making the best out of the edit and we've seen some strategic play out of her but this was just on another level and at first she tried to do it without having to use her extra vote by bringing in mike and bringing jonathan but i just don't think she had enough well standing with them to convince them but man all it took was romeo romeo was the key factor in this whole thing she was the one to bring him over everyone forgot about romeo but she realized all i need is one person let me go after the one that is the absolute most desperate and with that she became the first person to make an actual difference with the extra vote. Yeah. We've seen extra votes being played, but not one time has it actually changed the outcome of the vote itself. So props to Marianne. She gets out the best player, in my opinion, of season 42. You did it. I did. 13th person voted out and the sixth member of our jury. Omer. Oh with Survivor 42, we saw the continuation of a pretty decent amount of advantages spread throughout the game. Usually this makes for a mess as over half the players will have some sort of advantage, but this time around, we saw one player almost monopolize the advantage industry. Drea Wheeler came in and instantly scored the new amulet advantage and immediately afterwards followed that up by risking her vote on the first journey of the season and being rewarded with an extra vote. Fast forward a few days and Drea also finds a hidden immunity idol that she was successfully able to activate right before the merge and if that wasn't crazy enough, Drea's distaste for peanut butter and jelly led her to sitting out of a reward challenge and finding a clue for the knowledge is power advantage, which she of course went on to find and claim for herself. An amulet, an extra vote, an idol, and the knowledge is power. Drea became the first person in Survivor history to be holding on to four advantages at one point in time, which is absolutely bonkers. These advantages aren't worth all that much unless you use them, though, which leads us into the second Tribal Council of Episode 9. After Drea recognized that a pattern was seemingly starting to form after the first two players voted to the jury were black, both herself and Marianne put their foots down and prohibited it from continuing by both playing their idols to guarantee their safety. This led to a very unique open forum style discussion discussion where Jonathan was immune, Marianne and Drea were safe, and Tori, being told that she's going to get voted out, was forced to play her shot in the dark in a position where if she chose wrong, she'd be eliminated, but if she picked successfully, Lindsay would be eliminated. Ultimately, she ended up choosing incorrectly, and Tori was sent home in one of the most interesting tribal councils of the season. If you want to hear more about Drea and her complete story from Survivor 42, click right here for the insane rise and fall of Drea.